So you've got some VST drums and you want to learn how to separate each drum onto its own track in your door. In this video, I'm going to talk through how to do that and a few extra bonus tips at the end. So stay tuned. Okay, so looking at the door here, I've got a, uh, a new session with Reaper. Uh, I'm going to be using MT Drummer, but this will basically work with any VST drum. Uh, so if you've got Easy Drummer, Superior, whatever, uh, this is all going to work. So normally you would click on, double click up here to set up a new track and then add your instrument uh, in here. But uh, we're going to do that actually a slightly different way. So I'm going to remove that track and now I'm going to right click, but insert virtual instrument on new track. It's going to bring up the usual uh, box that you've probably seen before with your instruments or VSTs and other plugins in there. And that's going to give you a search option where you can type in drum and that will show you the drum plugins that you have. I'm going to be using MT and here we go. So now it's loading. Instead of just loading into one track, you can see it's asking about separating it out into eight different tracks in this example. If we click no, then it will just load in as normal into one single track with stereo output and that's that. But if we click yes, it's going to open up MT for me. I'm going to just skip that. So I've got my VST open. But when I hit play on one of the grooves, you can see it's just coming out of this first track. So what I need to do is go into the mixer and direct each drum at whichever track I want it to go to. So now back in MT Drum, I'm going to click on the mixer. And here at the bottom, you can see all the different tracks that have been listed out. So these match up with these numbers here that Reaper's created. So I've got track one. I'm going to keep my kick drum on there. Then my snare, I'm going to put out to two. And obviously side stick again, the snare. So I'm going to put that on two as well. And then I've got hi-hat closed on three and hi-hat open on three. And just keep going with that until you've got all the drums set out the way that you like. Okay, so with that done, if I go back into turn the mixer off here and just start clicking on each drum, you can see my snare is now in two. And this floor tom is over in six. Ride is seven, if I hit the bell, also in seven, and so on. There we go. Okay, so a couple of little bonus tips. That took a little while to set up, and you don't really want to be doing that every time you launch Reaper. So what you can do now is save this as a template. So back into Reaper, I'm going to click a new track. I'm going to drag this to the top, and now I'm going to click all of those tracks that I've set up for MT Drummer. I'm going to pull those up and then just to the side there. And you see that blue bar appears that shows it's going to be dropped into that track, which makes it a folder. So I can collapse those down if I want. But essentially a folder works like a bus. So any effect that I put on this channel strip down here is going to apply to all things inside that folder. So if I put reverb on there, it's going to apply to every drum. But obviously if I just want reverb on the snare, I can just go down to channel two and add the effect in there. Okay, so now with our drums all into a folder, I'm going to label that uh, drums. I'm going to even color code it. I'm going to track color, set that up as red for a bus, because over here in England, the buses are red. Now, if I right click on that red bus folder and choose save tracks as template, it's going to open the Reaper track template folder. And I'm going to set up a new one there, just called MT Drummer. Save that. So now anytime I start a new project, I can just open that template and immediately I'll have all the drums set up the way I like. So here's my new project and I can right click up here and instead of insert a new track or a new instrument on a new track, I can do insert track from template. I can do open template and pick out the one I want or it will show you the recent ones you've used down here. So I click my MT Drummer one once it loads up, you see the VST is opened and also you've got the tracks already set up the way you want to do it. It takes a few seconds instead of a few minutes, a bit of a time saver. There you go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, then do please give the video a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.